Hey guys, uh, so today we are reviewing John Halstead, which I just got in, like, I don't know, the hunting episode I am recording. So, yeah, this is something you'll see on my next hunt video. Well, not next, it's my first hunt video. This will be, the like, the first thing you'll see that I get. I, I also found the Marty Hauler. The Wally Hauler. And I'm going to tell you everything else. Uh, well, I'm not really going to tell you everything else. I'm just... You're just going to see it when the video comes out. So yeah, we got John Halstead. The Synergy Next Gen Hauler. Uh, this is like the table that I'm going to use for the rest of my videos. At least for this summer. There's a background. A Colombian coin. Sonic Mario stuff cone my custom sega diecast but that's a something for another day today we got this bad boy right here i haven't opened the hauler a long time in a long time i haven't seen this easy open thingy so let's just pop it open shall we but first let's see the packaging is just i mean it's quite cool you don't find blue desert anymore too much, so that's an advantage of Canada that you get like they barely ever restock or barely ever get new stuff. So you can find stuff that was from that is like hard to find in the U.S. Like right now, in 2021, because right now they just have the Desert Horizon stuff. They barely ever see. Blue Desert, so here in Canada, we got haulers with Blue Desert. A lot of them. I found Wally Hauler, Mac, and I don't think I found Paul Conrad's hauler, did I? No, I don't think I did. Uh, so yeah, in this packaging. So yeah, let's just open it because there isn't much to the packaging. John Halstead hauler, John Halstead remote kit. Commune John Halstead, and uh, this is Portuguese. Oh, oh, the camera, the tripod moved. Oh well, let's continue, shall we? Let's do this easy open thingy. Wait, did I just hit something? I don't know. Anyway, come on, pop it. Okay, come on. Yes. Come on. Ah, oh, my Colombian coin just fell. Okay, so they have the spinny thingies. So I guess I have to spin them. So this one, I got, I got, this, do I have to spin it this way or this way? Oh, okay, this way. Okay, then I guess that's, this one's loose now? I don't know. I haven't... I haven't unboxed the hauler in such a long time that I forgot how these things work. I don't know. Is it loose now? Is it loose? No, it's not loose. So I guess I have to spin it more? Or which way do I spin it? Oh! Never mind. Okay, I got this one. So I guess the front part is loose. Or not. Yeah, I, I gotta spin it this way. Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's loose. The front half is loose on the hauler. So I just gotta get this thing off. Okay, there we go. It's off. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna cut. Oh, oh, that was easier than I thought. This last one that just stuck in the dark. Oh, oh, okay. I guess it, it's already done. Do I have to take this out or something? Wait, okay, there we go. I took it out. So, yeah, I guess this is. Yep, it's loose. It's loose, people. It's loose. So, now I guess I just. Oh, well, I certainly don't want to chip this. So, oh, 
So uh, some weird plastic thingies are still there. So I guess I just have to cut the tape. And I forgot scissors, so I'm going to have to cut. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I found this nearest me, so yeah. Yes, I can use this. It's going to be a little not too easy. Which is... Yeah, this is not going to be easy, is it? I, I think I'm just going to have to cut. Phew. So, I finally got it out. It took longer than it should have, but I got it out. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get it out like this now. It has a rubber band around it, at least the whole the back part, I guess. So, this is not going to be easy with just one hand. So, I don't know if I, have, I will have to cut. No, I don't think I need to cut. Uh, come on. Get out of there. Yeah, smooth, nice and smooth. And now, John needs to get out of this thingy. The die cast metal thing here. Whew. Oh my god, he's heavy. Man, he is so heavy. I'm not used to this weight on a car. On a car's die cast. So I'm gonna put the package up to the side. Just threw it on the ground. So yeah, we have him over here. Let's take the rubber band off the car. I just pushed my race car. Okay, so I gotta just take this off. Okay, this is not gonna be too... This shouldn't be too hard. Right? What's this? Wait, what? Huh. I think the paint was like going over the, this hump now. Anyway, I got the rubber band out. The little rubber band. So, yeah. I guess we can finally take a look at it. So, let's start with the semi. Of, uh, let's start with the semi, of course. So, yeah. The semi. John Halstead. He looks really cool. He's got Vietnam-like eyes, of course. Yeah, it's made in Vietnam. You can see it right there. There's the vase. If you want to, like... Take a look at the codes and see when these guys were made. So yeah, the cap's really cool. It's yellow. I wouldn't usually expect that. It would. I I would probably expect it to like be green to match the body, but nope, it's yellow. There isn't that much to say about this cap. Synergy five, another five, and the stripe going across. So I'm gonna. So if there isn't much to say, I'm going to compare this guy to my plastic Jackson Storm Semi from the playset that I used. Oh, wait. That, vi that video is canceled. So never mind what I said. Anyway. So he's way smaller, which is probably accurate to the movie. Uh, different grill. Yeah, pretty much it's just like a downsized version and like a different model. Everything else is the same between these guys, apart from the paint job, of course, too. So yeah, I guess uh, now we move on to the trailer. So the trailer, it's really cool. You you there, it has a oh my, with the light you can see it so clearly. So it has that pattern. On the top, it just has a five, and a nice synergy logo. Synergy again, and the five. With those stripes that also go across on... Um, I'm gonna just call him Spiky Phillips. Do we call him Eric Breaker? I'm, I'm actually just gonna call him Eric Breaker. So yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's the same on the other side. Just the big arrow is going this way. From the five. And the small arrow is here. So yeah. The back. It's quite cool. It's a darker color, I think. Yeah, it's the same color, but it's pretty cool. The taillights kind of blend into the paint job a little bit. There's the license plate. 
Wait, is there any stuff on his? No, there's just nothing. So yeah, so I'm gonna try to get my... Uh, there's something bad about the... Oh, never mind. Okay. So, okay, nice texture down here. And they added detail on the bottom, that's good. And there, there's this, this little support thing. So, I guess you can just... Got him. Now I'm gonna move the camera down quite a bit. So you, yeah, the tripod's down, so you can see it better. So yeah, I I think you guys can see it like this. And we got Eric, Eric Breaker right here, the violent variant. So we can just drive Eric down here. Close the support. And then just slide this, put this up, make sure it's good, then hit, then hit the, this thing on, okay, nice click, click nice, and then you can just drive him off to the race, so yeah, it's pretty cool, it's a really cool hauler to have, so if you see it at stores, I definitely I definitely recommend picking it up, especially because it's like such a random sponsor to pick. Apart from it being one of those new sponsors from Cars 3, there's nothing so special about the sponsor, is there? So yeah, it's pretty cool that they they just chose Synergy. So yeah, pretty much that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. See ya.